Hi guys. I've been avoiding making a video like this for a while since my channel started to kind of gain the little bit of traction that it has. Some of the comments I've been getting, specifically one that I got a couple days ago, if you follow me on Twitter, you know I've already kind of went on a little bit of a rant about it, but I sort of just wanted to make a video addressing it. I don't really acknowledge people's comments on any of my Alternative Nation articles or videos specifically because um, I am part of the image of the brand and I don't want to taint that anyway. But on my own personal channel, I am a little bit more open about myself. I've made videos where I basically talk about my own personal experiences with things. So I felt like because I'm feeling this way that I might as well make a video about it. And of course, there's people who are saying, you know, you shouldn't care what people think. You're above that. Don't even acknowledge them. You know what you know. So what they say doesn't matter. And no, it doesn't. But yes, I do care. I do care. And that's why I'm making a video about it. And I care because it's not like maintaining a channel is an easy thing to do. For those of you who don't make your own videos and try to be very consistent with it, it's pretty time consuming, especially as a full-time student who's about to graduate. It's a lot of work. Recording takes you know, anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour because I don't know how to shut up, so that's my own fault, but it does take a while. And editing takes a really long time. Technology is not always dependable, so... And especially when you're trying to be consistent with it because people are subscribing to you because they're expecting more content from you. But I want to do it. I like doing it. I have a lot of fun doing it. I could talk about music, you know, as a full-time job if that was an actual thing. If I could be a rock historian, I would. <laughs> now, okay, obviously... I know, everybody knows, we all know that getting into anything on the internet and social media, especially when you're starting to have an audience, granted mine's not big, I don't even have a thousand subscribers yet, but I'm getting close, and you know going into it that you are going to come across people who don't agree with you. That's perfectly fine. Everyone's entitled to their own opinions. That's kind of the point of social media is so that you can express yourself. I actually like hearing different opinions because then it gives me a chance to see things from a different perspective. What I don't like and I don't appreciate is anyone trying to undermine my knowledge specifically because of my age and my gender. A lot of the comments I get on my channel are on the Greta Van Fleet interview. It has had a ridiculous amount of views as opposed to what I thought it was going to. People at my dad's job went up to him and told him I saw your daughter on YouTube with Greta Van Fleet. And it's rewarding but it's intimidating because you know you're kind of being held up to a certain standard by people. And that is the first and foremost thing I'm going to address is that I do not live, I do not make YouTube videos, I do not write to live up to anyone's standards but my own. I will make that very clear. I write about the topics I want to write about, and I interview the bands I want to interview, and I review the albums and the shows that I want to review. I do it because I'm passionate about it. Music is my entire life. I don't go to music festivals and make sure that I'm wearing certain clothing because I'm a journalist and people might think less of me as a journalist because of what I'm wearing. Yes, I wore a shirt that said unfuck the world during the Greta Van Fleet interview. I was at a music festival, a rock festival. Cursing is kind of just part of rock and roll culture. I don't necessarily want to say that, but it's, it's true. I curse a lot, so why am I not going to wear something that I want to wear? I don't think classiness is even a thing at a rock festival. It's just not. It's not what I strive for. It's not what anybody should be striving for. You should strive to be yourself. I personally saw the shirt on Slash on the internet, and when I researched it, I realized it was a Prophets of Rage song who was headlining the music festival that I was going to on that day. So. I wanted the shirt originally because of Slash, but then I realized I had more of an incentive to wear it because it was actually representative of one of the bands that was going to be at that festival. So <laughs> people are commenting that this interviewer is classless because of the shirt that she's wearing. Does what I'm wearing take away from the quality of the interview whatsoever? And I mean, if it does, maybe you need to reevaluate how you pick out certain qualities in videos and interviews. And then I get comments about this chick this, or she had to have hooked up with him, or why does a girl get to interview a cool band? 
people, it's 2018. <laughs> Get with the fucking times. My gender has absolutely nothing to do with my intelligence, my knowledge about music, and my passion for music. Rock and roll, I will admit, it's a predominantly male culture, but that doesn't mean that women can't thrive in it. It's about your passion. It's not about what's in your pants. <laughs> I'm not like a big feminist. I'm not a huge social activist person, but I just think that it's kind of ridiculous that people still think that gender has to do with any kind of talent for anything. Going off of that, um, now I want to get into the age aspect of things. <laughs> so one of the comments I got the other day that really is, uh, was the ignition of my Twitter rant and this video was somebody commented on my video that was a response to somebody else's video saying he thinks that Greta Van Fleet sounds too much like Led Zeppelin. I'm assuming this person did not even watch the video before writing this comment because he commented twice, but he said something along the lines of, I'm sorry, but I can't sit here and listen to a 17 year old girl talk about thinking she knows anything about Led Zeppelin and bands that I've been listening to for 30 years. Oh, but then he topped it off in the second comment saying, it's cool that she likes Led Zeppelin though. Thanks. <laughs> First of all, I'm about to turn 22. So thank you for demeaning me and assuming that I'm five years younger than I am. And good judgment on your part, dad. Second of all, I do more research on the musicians that I listen to than almost anyone I know. There are quite a few people that are much more knowledgeable than me and they do a lot more studying than me. But I do a pretty frequent share of it. It's what I do. It's what I've done my whole life even before I actually became a journalist. But the main component of being a journalist is research. You don't go into interviewing a band, no matter how much you think you know about them, without studying more about them, without doing more research on them. You don't write an album review without reading their press release at least. I don't make videos about bands that I don't know about. I don't wear t-shirts of bands that I don't know about because I think that that's even ridiculous. I talk a lot about Guns N' Roses. This is not even half of the Guns N' Roses books that I have. I made several videos where I mentioned Led Zeppelin and I have watched between three and four one to two hour long documentaries on Led Zeppelin prior to making videos talking about them. A lot of people don't know that the song All My Love is actually about Robert Plant's son who passed away at five years old to a stomach disease. Am I gonna tell you that you're any less of a Led Zeppelin fan because you probably might not have known that? No. No matter how long you've been around, it doesn't mean that people that are younger than you aren't gonna know more about that. What do you think they teach us in history class about the American Revolution? Were any of us fucking there for that? No, but does that mean that we can discredit historians who have spent their entire lives researching it? No. So, ultimately, I really wanted to make this to kind of reinforce to people who doubt me and doubt my knowledge that I do my research and I want to reassure the loyal people who have subscribed and have been following along with me that I am not just pulling what I say out of my ass. And I'm not saying I'm a grade A rock historian and I know all that there is to know about everyone. I don't think even these musicians know everything about their own lives and careers because a lot of them were so drugged up during it. And I know I don't owe anyone an explanation for anything. I wanted to make this. To watch one video of somebody's and think, oh, well, this person doesn't know what they're talking about, just goes to show how much of a narrow-minded, simplistic internet troll you are. Thank you again to everyone who has been loyal and have subscribed and been following me. Bye, guys. Thank you.